Hi and welcome to the book lab. In today's video I want to share why you should have a reading list and how it can help you reach your learning goals and I will also share a few tips on how you can customize that reading list to fit your style and your personality. Last year didn't go as planned, huh? You realized in January that that classic that you promised yourself to read is still lying there unopened and that leadership book that will help you go through the challenges you experience as work is still untouched. That biography that would help you gain a deeper understanding of a person you admire is collecting dust on the shelf. This is a common problem. You are not alone. It's easy to get seduced by the next shiny thing, to pick up a new book in an area that you're already fairly familiar with instead of going outside of your comfort zone and discovering something new. Having a reading list is a great way to make sure that what you read is actually matching your learning goals. Personally, I don't think I ever would have gotten to classics like Stoner, Dust Spoke Zarathustra, Plato's Republic without a pre-planned reading list. The world is just full of reading distractions and my main tool that I use to keep a straight course is the reading list. So what is a reading list and why do we need it? One great way to stay motivated in your reading throughout the year is to have a clear vision of what themes, what genres, what ideas you want to explore. And one great way to do this is to create a list of specific titles that you want to explore. You know that you have a great reading list on your hand when you feel excited about the person you will become once you've gone through all these books, all the new perspectives that you will gain and all the new mindsets that you will adopt. And it's at this point some of you might say, but why? Well, whoa, whoa, I, I shop books with my gut. I, 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 I go where my interest takes me and there is a way to combine the traditional uh, pre-planned reading list with spontaneity and here are three, three, here are three ways to do it. Set a percentage of your reading list to be spontaneous reads. Let's say your goal is to read 30 books in a year. Then make 15 pre-planned and in line with your reading goals and have 15 open slots that where you can go where interest takes you. Choose themes over titles. If you feel constrained by having ex the exact titles listed on a list, then you can pick themes instead. Let's say you want to learn about evolutionary psychology. Maybe you want to read up on Mahatma Gandhi's life. Maybe you want to learn more about global politics, the moral landscape, whatever it is then you can choose and list those themes instead of having specific titles in your list. This will leave some room for exploration and you can sit down and find out the perfect titles um, during the year. Use quotas. A third way to approach the reading list is to have to separate it into several different sized buckets based on genre. This way you can have the freedom to choose the titles as you go but you still have um, a general direction based on your personal goals and your ambitions. So one of these buckets could be personal development. And, and if your goal is to have read 30 books in a year, let's say, then maybe you assign 10 of them to the personal development bucket, three to the spiritual genre, five classics and seven science books. That way it's a little bit less planned, but still you know the general direction you want to go. So now you're all set, you have a reading list, you're excited about it. What now? Well, first push the like button and subscribe. I, I put out videos every Thursday, but uh, other than that, all you need now is a consistent reading habit and you will be good to go. So let me know in the comments below how you structure your reading. Do you have any additional tips to the ones I had? Does it make sense? Please comment below. I would love to hear how you work with this. And that's it for this week. I'm back next Thursday with more reviews and videos. Until next time, you're out. Take care.